Today's dating tip is body language and the importance of body language, not just in the dating sphere, but in every aspect of your life. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit dating, novel dating advice for the modern man. So I met up with George Masvidal, his UFC fighter who is an absolute weapon. Massive biceps, massive shoulders, and he's he's done some vicious things in the octagon. Uh, let's have a quick look at some of his highlights. As you can see, George Masvidal is a very, very dangerous man, and uh, I, w I went up and met him in person, and uh, his public persona is quite serious. Uh, you see him in his uh, uh, interviews and press conferences, he's quite serious, and uh, he doesn't come across as he comes across as quite confident, but he doesn't come across as that friendly. Uh, but when I met him in person, the guy was an absolute sweetheart. Uh, he just eluded nothing but positivity, and I could it was emitting off him. Uh, and uh, he was working hard as well, and he was just so positive, so friendly. So there, there were so many positives about this guy. And I just feel like maybe the people behind him aren't giving him the right advi advice because he wasn't necessarily in the public sphere. When you see the videos and the interviews, he doesn't really come across as the absolute sweetheart that I met. And, and, and the, that, that guy, that sweetheart that I met that just eluded positivity, if somehow you could translate even 50% of that into his public persona, this guy would be even more of a star uh, than he is today. And and I think that's why Conor McGregor is such a, f a fabulous uh, superstar these days, is because he's able to translate what he probably is like in his personal life to the public persona. Uh, and George Masvidal, I was quite shocked at who he was in person and the guy is an absolute sweetheart. Uh, now I met up with him and I warned him before we had this photo, I said uh, I want to have a flex off. Uh, let's see who can out flex each other. <laughs> and uh, he accepted the challenge uh, and we had a few seconds to get ready for the photo. And as you can see in this photo, he decided that the best flex for him was to hunch over and he is a weapon, massive shoulders, massive biceps, massive triceps, uh, and you can see the forearms, the guy's a weapon, but body language wise, I decided, even though I put my left elbow behind him, uh, I still stood up straight, uh, put my arms in the air, almost in the, uh, the victory sort of body language pose and this this uh, victory pose uh, when you see people uh, win the gold medal or they, they they win some sort of grand final in football or soccer they, they often put their hands up uh, like a big V and this is not something that uh, this is something kind of based in our genetics it even happens in the wild what it does is you're you're putting your hands up in the air and when you do that and you stand up straight and you show, you know, uh, stand up straight like this, you're, you're effectively leaving yourself open to attack, kind of vulnerable. You're leaving your neck open to attack. You're leaving your stomach, which is arguably the most vulnerable part of your body. You see dogs and cows and uh, cats, the, their most vulnerable part is their belly, but it's hunched over and protected. See, humans, we, we have the option of hunching over and protect, protecting ourselves. And if someone wants to beat down on you in the octagon, that's one of the, uh, the ways that you protect yourself. You, you hunch over in the fetal position. 
so by putting your arms up like this or up in a V, what you're doing is you're letting everyone know that you you don't fear anyone. You don't see anyone as a predator, no matter how damn dangerous they are. You're you're showing. Uh, you're proving how confident you are through your body language and uh, internally you also get a, a slight boost of testosterone and dopamine by just purely doing this pose now I was able to and I believe uh, I'll leave you guys to judge it for yourselves but I believe that I outflexed uh, Masvidal here uh, the weapon that he is uh, by purely choosing the correct pose. And when it comes to dating, this is also important because women don't necessarily want to be surrounded by a man who is weak. They don't want to be surrounded by a man who he's going to hunch over because he's not the type of guy who's going to be able to protect her and her child when she has children. Uh, women still, even today, uh, in this modern era where we have police and we have all the, pr the modern uh, protections that we have these days, they, all, they still do want uh, a man who is uh, confident, uh, has good body language, eludes confidence and would possibly be able to protect her and her child if she was to have a child with you. And, and this is all connected and you can, when you meet a girl, just say you're doing cold approach, um, or you're out on a date, or you're in, in the, the early stages of a relationship with a woman, if you consciously focus on your body language, uh, it might not add a huge percentage, but it might be 5%. It might add a lot, uh, just a little bit, 5% to your advantage in the dating realm and keeping this girl interested in you uh, and I do know a few guys I, I do have one friend that um, has amazing body language uh, and, and he stands up straight he's always so upright whenever he walks around and people do notice uh, I notice people just look at him and they glance because he's just so uh, confident in his body language he might not be uh, entirely confident uh, as a person but his body language makes everybody that doesn't know him personally think that he's extremely confident uh, and that's uh, that's a very important lesson to you guys at home is that your body language does matter uh, and you should be more expansive stand up straight also eye contact will come with your body language, your extra dopamine hit, your extra testosterone, and then confidence will come with that as well. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful, and if this was helpful for you guys, uh, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, so you don't miss out on any future dating videos that I'll be making. I've also got a Telegram group, uh, which you can join up with uh, me and chat with me straight away. I also will be running uh, boot camps, immersions, and no matter where you are in the world, um, I can do Skype coaching with you online today. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I feel it coming.